Lesson 9, finding the LCM. And just like we learned in the previous lesson, we're going to use the most efficient method possible. And that means students should be asking the magic question first. Once you're done, draw an outline surrounding the two sections where the magic question worked. We'll go over three examples together. Here, box A, find the LCM of 24 and 6. Start off with the magic question. Can you do 24 divided by 6 evenly? Answer is yes. Circle and star, and you're done. Which method did we use? We used the magic question. Number two, larger number divided by the smaller number. Ask the magic question. Can you do 15 divided by 3 evenly? Answer is yes. So circle the 15, put a star there, and you're done. 15 is the lowest common multiple. Which method did we use? That is magic question. Last example, letter C. Find the LCM of 10 and 8. Start off with the magic question. Larger number divided by the smaller number. Can you do 10 divided by 8 evenly? Answer is no, so go on and use the shortcut. Don't list the multiples of 10 and the multiples of 8. Only list the multiples of the larger number. So that would be 10. Here we go. Write 10 and stop. Can you do 10 divided by 8 evenly? No, so keep going. 20, stop. 20 divided by 8? No, keep going. Keep counting by 10. We have 30 divided by 8. Can you do that evenly? No, so keep going. Write 40 and stop. Can you do 40 divided by 8? Answer is yes. Circle and star, and you're done. That's the lowest common multiple of 10 and 8. Which method did we use? That would be the shortcut, since the magic question didn't work.